no one can see too far ahead, right? We really have to be carefully watching the trends and deciding what decisions to take, where to, to spend our investment money, where to innovate. And this is a natural evolution for Vision. We were in radios and infotainment. We were the first to market in cockpit domain controllers back several years. We remain a leader in cockpit domain controllers, but it doesn't stop there because cockpit domain controllers will now move toward high performance compute, which is part of the software defined vehicle. We have also developed Vistion Connected Services, where we have taken the app store, we have created an app store, and we have merged that with our high performance compute. So we really have an end to end solution from the cloud to the customer experience. We have some very unique things that we're doing with displays where we are taking more and more of the value chain in-house. In terms of what we design, we have our backlight designs that allow us to do unique things with displays. Our local dimming technology that we're using actually provides an OLED-like experience. It also reduces the power consumption by as much as 80%. So it's a huge win-win getting the contrast ratio and the display appearance to be much, much better than it was before while reducing the power consumption, which of course is very important for EVs. We're a leader in battery management systems today. We are the first to market for wireless battery management systems, and we're continuing to evolve the next generation of that as well as adding power electronics to our portfolio, particularly with the onboard charger and the DC to DC converter multifunction box. This last year has been an amazing restart to everything in terms of being physically present with the OEMs and being able to do a lot more moving away from supply chain topics to really technology and innovation topics. Every year we take it up a notch. This year is no different.